is hoping to get out of the event. So Accenture are at Career Zoo today because in January we announced that we were looking to grow our business by another 450 people here in Ireland and we want to do that by August. So here today we're looking for the talent and the skills just to help us do that. So what skills are you looking for today? We're looking for a really diverse range of skills and capabilities. So one of the specific areas of our business that we're recruiting for today is our really exciting Dublin Innovation Centre. So the Innovation Centre is going to help Accenture bring to our clients the most exciting and innovative technologies to help them solve their, to help them solve their most complex business problems. So our recruitment drive for the Innovation Centre is spanning a number of different disciplines. We have technology, data and analytics. We're looking for people with a background in data science, data analytics, big data. We're looking for people who are interested in artificial intelligence, in um, AI, in robotics. Um, and actually more than that, we're not just looking for people to work on those technologies, we're actually looking for creative thinkers, people who are going to be part of creating the most exciting technologies that we're going to have on offer here in Ireland. The other part of our recruitment drive is around our industry sectors. So Accenture works across every industry sector and we're specifically looking for people who have a background in financial services, in resources, in health and public sector, in communications and media. And that means that we're looking for experienced people from industry to come in and join our consulting practices across business consulting and technology consulting as well. Caruso recently released a survey that says that 70% of the people they spoke to are thinking of moving jobs this year and I mean that follows recruitment trends that we've noticed ourselves saying there's an end to the job for life mentality is that something that you've noticed at Accenture? In Accenture we're really encouraged by two things we have a very low attrition rate and we have over the last number of years had double digit growth in terms of growing our business um, and that has been reflected in our headcount as well so we're really encouraged by our ability to continue to attract and retain top talent in terms of job for life that's not something that we experience really because the nature of our work is that you are constantly changing and um, the type of projects that you're working on and the type of business challenges that you're faced with so obviously there's such a huge growth in tech we're hearing more and more about how there are kind of there are gaps in the the tech pipeline there are more jobs than there are people to fill them so how, how do you address that at Accenture? Yeah, so we're not experiencing, as I said, a major attracting the talent. Um, I think people still continue to want to join Accenture. We are, however, really active in that in the business community in terms of STEM and in advocating for STEM um, across a number of different initiatives. So to give you an example, Accenture are the primary sponsor of FinTech Ireland, um, and there's an initiative where in Accenture we bring um, tech startups together in the finance and payment space. Another example of where we sponsor STEM is around our Leaders for Tomorrow program. Um, and that's an, a program that's at the heart of Accenture where we invite graduates um, and those in Masters and PhD to participate in the program. They show, showcase to us their innovations um, and we again mentor and um, bring them through the whole process of taking an idea from inception right through to execution. We're also very prolific I think around the subject of women in STEM. We've issued um, and been very proud of a number of research studies that we've done that have generated great discussion across the industry. So we also do a lot of STEM sponsorship across initiatives like Girl Geeks, Web Summit and Inspirefest. So obviously over the last number of years there's been a huge focus on diversity in the tech industry but what, what is Accenture doing to ensure that once they have that diverse staff that all of those employees get the same opportunities across the board? So our approach to diversity and inclusion is very broad. Um, but all of our various initiatives and programs are aimed to ensure that every person in Accenture gets to be their most authentic self. But to give you an example, say, of our gender um, program, um, in Accenture, we're really proud of the way in which we support women through our organisation. Um, globally and in Ireland, we are incredibly proud of the statistic of having 30% of our leadership is represented by women. We also, I guess, are, you know, we have a very high profile um, event every year on um, the 8th of March where we celebrate International Women's Day. Um, and we'll be back down in the convention centre celebrating that this year. We're also really proud in Accenture of our commitment to our LGBT community. Um, we were one of the first organisations in Ireland to introduce um, guidelines to our employees around non-discrimination in sexual expression and sexual orientation. Um, and last year in 2015, we were so proud to be to have been awarded by Gala um, the most inclusive place to work for the LGBT community. 
we're also really proud of what we've done around enablement and making sure that our highly talented and skilled individuals who may have a disability are given the full flexibility and support of our organisation, whether that's through technologies or flexible working arrangements, so that we really harness the talent and make sure that they get to contribute the absolute maximum to our, to our business as well.